Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. So the first card we have here, guys, or the only card that came out for you guys is missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Okay. So it's definitely someone who may feel like they could have done more. It may even be someone who feels like there was an opportunity that presented itself in order to maybe fix things with you or move things to the next level, but they're pretty much viewing you as a missed opportunity. So they feel like they didn't act when they should have. So let's go ahead and clarify uh, this energy here. Let's see. Ace of Cups, okay, on the bottom of the deck here, split the deck, the Four of Wands. Yeah, and the Aces in the deck, Scorpio, they speak about opportunities, right? The Aces in general. So it could be opportunities that presents itself to you, but it's, you know, we all have free will, so it's up to you to act on it. So for some of you, this person may feel like, you know, they did not act on an opportunity when it came to committing to you, right? The Four of Wands could be a higher level of commitment, but this could also be letting me know that this is someone who is now manifesting some sort of a reconciliation with you. Okay, um, so let's start off by seeing how this person is currently viewing you. It's like I feel, you know, in their in their emotions here, it's like either they feel like you have given them the opportunity to express how they feel, or there was a chance where you guys could have actually been in a, um, or, or created, you know, a stable foundation or had a commitment together, but they feel like, well, why didn't I act on that? Or maybe I should have said something sooner. Okay. The tower wanted to pop out, so things could have been very unexpected in this bond here. Okay. What was that? The nine of cups. Yeah. I mean, I do feel like this person's viewing you as as uh, wish fulfillment here, but they also feel like something happened very unexpectedly between the both of you. Okay, so they're viewing you, yeah, four of wands energy. This is definitely someone who's thinking about a commitment with you. This is someone who wants to come together. So because you're in separation with this person, this card could obviously speak about reconciliation here. Now, something else I feel is this person is viewing you as someone that they have gone through a lot with. The Four of Wands could also speak about like milestones or, you know, um, something large that you guys have attained together, but they really feel like they want to reach that finish line with you. They want to be in a commitment with you, but it's more so about, um, you know, I want to act on how I feel or, you know, as much as they're viewing this as a missed opportunity, the fact that they're still viewing you in the Four of Wands energy is there is, a, or it means there is a desire to fix things with you. There is a desire um, there is an energy of them hoping for a reconciliation here. So yeah, we have the Ace of Cups, which is definitely someone who is wanting a new beginning, and the Two of Wands. They're very focused on uh, the future of this connection here, Scorpio. It's someone who feels like they have the world in their hands. They're kind of looking at it as, I have control over this situation. Or if I were, for example, if I were to communicate or, or open communication towards Scorpio or break the silence, then maybe something could change between, you know, or something could change in this dynamic here. Now, something else I see here, guys, is this person has a lot of bottled up emotions that they want to express to you. You know, with the Ace of Cups, this could be like an emotional outpour, someone who's like, okay, I'm really missing you, Scorpio. I do love you. And this is why I wasn't not able to commit in the past or this is what was going on, you know, in terms of what was creating a blockage in this connection. Now, Two of Wands does speak about planning, but it also speaks about, you know, being focused on the future. What it boils down to is choosing a direction to go in. And I feel like your person has made a decision that they want a new beginning with you. They've made a decision that, you know, you are who they see themselves with. And that could be the very reason why we have the missed opportunity card, right? Someone who's thinking about you and feeling like I should have done more when I had the chance to. I'm missing Scorpio. I still think about Scorpio. So obviously um, it's affecting me kind of energy here. So the way that you're viewing them is the, the three of swords. So you could be viewing them as someone who's healing from some sort of hurt that was caused, or you're viewing them as someone who has caused a lot of hurt for you. 
Okay, because Three of Swords could be obviously, you know, heartbreak, heartache, but the swords boil down to a mental energy. So first it could have been very emotionally draining, but now it may be affecting you on a mental level. So when you think about this uh, commitment with this person, the bond that you guys share, with the Three of Swords, you're very hurt by how things transpired between the both of you. You're very hurt by where things currently are, right? So the separation alone could obviously be, um, you know, affecting you on an emotional level. But mainly what I see here is as much as you may be emotionally overwhelmed, you know, you're thinking about the situation a lot because you're viewing them as someone that you want to heal from or you're viewing them, um, you know, or you're viewing the situation as something you want to heal from here. Okay, something else I see, guys, is you may feel like this person does not know how um, they've hurt you or you may feel like they don't know the level of pain that you've endured and that could be something that you want to express uh, to this individual as well. So in your feelings, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, that's an energy of, you know, moving to calmer waters, trying to heal, um, you know, attain a peace of mind here. Some of you may even feel like you had to move away from this connection and you left something behind. So whether it's quite literally like a physical item or it's... Um, like you feel like this person still has a part of you, if that makes sense, right? But with the Six of Swords, you know, they have nothing there but the clothes on their back and they're moving forward because what they want is to reach calmer waters. What they want is peace. So I feel like for many of you, you're trying to heal, you're wanting peace in this connection, but you also feel like a piece of you is missing, if you will. The Six of Swords is being clarified by the Emperor. So you are, you know, you're in an energy of remaining very composed, putting your foot down, taking control of the situation. And I'll tell you something, Scorpio, you may even be very hard to read at this time. So this person could have a hard time putting their finger on how you're feeling, what you're up to, what you're doing. This could quite literally be because you're not publicizing what you're up to, but it could also just be that you're not really showing any vulnerability at this time. Because what I see is you're hurt by the situation, Scorpio, but you're not really wanting to show this person the vulnerable side of you. You're hurt by the situation, but you're more focused on finding a peace of mind for yourself. So you're looking at it as, yes, I am very hurt, but I want to heal. I want a peace of mind here. And I don't want to show you that I'm hurt. And it could be because you feel that you're not going to receive your desired outcome. Okay, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, Eight of Wands, there's something you want to communicate. And this is what I was saying, right? The way that this person made you feel or the hurt that you feel right now. There's like an energy of you feeling like, I want to tell you this. Or I want you to know how I feel or how, do you, how you make me feel. So with the Eight of Wands, this could obviously be uh, communication, you wanting to uh, break the silence here, but the Eight of Wands um, could also just speak about manifestation, right? So it could speak about you manifesting an opportunity to speak to this person, you manifesting this person reaching out to you, right? Um, and the Eight of Wands, and we have the Queen of Wands here, okay, what else do we have? Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of passion, there's a lot of attraction here, but with the Nine of Pentacles, some of you are feeling guided to focus on yourself right now. You may feel that energy because, you know, in your feelings, we have the Six of Swords, which is, you know, you focusing on uh, attaining a peace of mind, you focusing on your own uh, uh, peace of mind at this time. As much as you're hurt by the situation, I'm not taking away uh, from your emotions, you feel like the most logical thing to do right now is focus on yourself, maybe focus on your uh, finances here. I mean, you look good um, while you're doing these things. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor, you're being viewed in a very powerful position. You're being viewed as someone who's, you know, well off. But behind that, I do sense there's some sort of hurt, but it's almost like you don't want to um, let this person know that you're hurt or you don't feel comfortable being vulnerable with them at this time. But then on the flip side, there is also an urge that you feel of, you know what, you deserve to know how you made me feel. Or, you know, I've been bottling up a lot of emotions and a lot of um, my thoughts where I wish we could have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. Because Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, you're definitely a catch right now. And this person is very well aware of that. That could be an energy of you, you know, you know you look good, Scorpio. <laughs> you know, you know you look good. You know you're doing good. But there's, an, there's a level of you wanting to be in control and not wanting to show a side of you that you feel like this person may take advantage of. Okay? Um, yeah. So we have Taurus energy with the Hierophant. So it's clarifying the Ace of Cups and the Justice card. Wow. Some of you could have been in a full-blown marriage with this person. You know, we have Four of Wands, Hierophant, Justice card. That could 
um, let me know that you were in a marriage with this individual. But we also have uh, Libra and energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Mainly what I'm getting here with the Hierophant clarifying the Ace of Cups Scorpio is not only is this person thinking about, you know, the commitment that you guys um, may have been in or the bond that you guys share, I should say, they feel like things are actually moving to the next level with you. So whether you believe this or not with the Ace of C uh, Cups as well as the Hierophant, they're kind of looking at it as, well, I know this, you know, like this is destined to be, or I know that we're going to find our way back to each other, right? Now, something else that I'm getting here, guys, is there's something to do with the differences between the both of you, whether it's values, whether it's your belief system, moral codes, religious factors, cultural factors. It is a general read, but I see the differences between the both of you or the differences in this connection being highlighted. There's also an energy of your person wanting to not only bring forward some sort of truth or clarity, but to restore balance in this connection, because that's what the Justice card speaks about. What's the Hierophant? The Ace of Swords, exactly, right? Clarity, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords, so clarity, a breakthrough, like if I were to just tell Scorpio how I feel, or if I just were to tell them what I want moving forward, or what I have altered so that we can move forward in this connection, it would really help. Two of Cups, look at that, guys. This person really feels extremely deeply for you. I don't think their feelings have changed at all. Instead, I think that they actually want to tell you how they feel. And, and that sounds a bit bizarre, right? But what I'm getting is this person wasn't fully open with how they feel towards you. And, you know, the reason why I, I see that is because not only the Three of Swords, they are viewing you as a missed opportunity. So they have had emotions for you, but they feel like they were not as open as they could have been or should have been. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords in their feelings. And we also have the Ten of Swords. They're definitely feeling, you know, the the ending here, or they feel like there was a sense of betrayal, but they're holding on to some sort of hope. They're pl uh, praying for blessings. So the hand symbolism in the Ten of Swords here is the same hand symbolism in the Hierophant, which is um, symbolic for blessings. So this person is paying attention, sorry, praying for blessings here or wanting something to come out of this situation. With the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords, if I'm being completely transparent with you, in their feelings, they're still holding on to something that has bothered them. You're going to know your situation better than I will. So this could be a harsh exchange of words. Maybe they're holding on to an argument, something that you've said, okay, or something that was done in this connection here. The hermit, spending a lot of time thinking, a lot, a lot of time thinking, okay, because with the hermit, of course, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is someone who is gaining some sort of clarity about you, about the situation, but the clarity is stressing them out. So if you're like, wait, what do you mean by that? Well, the best way for me to boil down that energy, Scorpio, is usually clarity when it comes in, we feel less confused. We feel, I guess, more at ease about a situation um, as a, or, or, you know, that's the best way to express it. But this person is gaining clarity about you. But the reason why they don't feel at ease is because it's highlighting the fact that they did not act on the emotions that they still have for you. So as much as they are gaining clarity about how they feel towards you or <clears throat> the fact that their emotions have not changed and they still feel connected to you, it's stressing them out. Why is it stressing them out? Well, because you guys are in a separation and they're viewing you as a missed opportunity. They're viewing you as, well, if I still feel connected to Scorpio, I should have done something about it. So there's a lot of um, worry. This person could quite literally be, be uh, losing sleep over you. And with the Queen of Swords, they may come off very aloof. They may come off very detached. But you're definitely weighing very heavily on their mind here. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Star card. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, clarifying the Star card and the Three of Wands. This is someone who is... Um, you know, planning a future with you. This is someone who wants to heal things uh, between the both of you. With the star card, they may even feel like this connection is very rare where something about you feels irreplaceable. Queen of Cups in the star card is like this person feeling like no one makes them feel the way that you do. The connection that you guys share is, uh, you know, uh, something that's not only very different, but very special to them. And with the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, what this person's focused on right now is how to come out of the cold with you. What they're focused on right now is choosing a direction to go in. And you are weighing heavily on their mind. You are the direction that they want to go in. Some of you could be, um, you know, dealing with an Aquarius here with a star card. But mainly what I see here, Scorpio, is this person feels like they want to be open about their emotions. And they definitely want to take that leap of faith because the star card and the queen of cups, queen of cups being your energy, they may feel like, okay, I don't, you know, I do view the situation as a missed opportunity, but they may feel like they have one more chance to get something right, or it, it's not going to sit right with them if they don't try again, 
um, and just completely, you know, cut ties or move forward. And I also feel like there's a lot of stress surrounding what they're going to do next. And I do feel like they are holding to, holding on to a level of hurt or some sort of something that's still causing frustration, but they want to mend things with you. They want to fix and heal this situation here. Okay, so let's see what they want to communicate to you. Okay. So we have, I have too much to lose. So this definitely could have been the, uh, you know, the case in the past or, you know, with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords, it's like they feel like they had to put something else to an end or they had to change something about them in order to be with you, which they may have refused to do, but they're very, like they feel some sort of betrayal. They could feel like they've betrayed you or they could have, or they could feel like they're still stressing about the decision that they've made to move on or to be in a separation with you because there's a lot of rethinking what they've said or rethinking what has happened between the both of you going on i wish we could go back i definitely see that in their energy because there's a lot of like revisiting a situation replaying scenarios in their mind look at this guys we don't share the same values and i mentioned that there's something about your differences being highlighted here I can't get enough of you. This person may be extremely tempted by you where that could be the reason why in the cards I see they are wanting a turn of events or they're wanting to uh, come back, uh, you know, to you. But it's also an energy of like, I need to choose how to go about this or I need to create a plan with that three of wands energy and the potential outcome. I miss being with you. Yeah, a lot of missing and longing going on, but I also feel like this person is uh, bottom of the deck, you didn't see my tears. This person is stressing out. And yeah, they're keeping it to their self because with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords, um, you know, they are stressed out. But Queen of Swords is more so not really, you know, being vocal about it or back turned towards the situation. I see that this person wants to be open and honest with you. That's mainly what I see here, guys. Um, but I also feel, Scorpio, that this person is... Um, they're having a hard time letting go of you because of how rare or different this connection is. They genuinely feel like they will not have this connection elsewhere. That's what I'm picking up on. Okay, so my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.